officially in London right now. But I want to tell you about our journey to get here. So we flew here on Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. And we were flying to our flight pattern was to Houston and then to London. But there were some thunderstorms in Houston, flash flood warnings. So that first flight ended up getting canceled. So we had to walk back down to the front desk, like back through security. And we we're like, help us out. And they basically put us on a new one. And that one was gonna go to Washington, DC. So we were like, that's great because it doesn't involve Houston. Well, jokes on us, it did. <laughs> Cause the plane was coming from Houston to where we were at to take us to Washington, DC. So that one ended up getting delayed so much that it would have made us miss the second flight. And then it eventually got canceled. So we just went back down through security again we told them, bruh, we want to go somewhere else. Just take us somewhere else. Don't involve Houston, like, even if it's a different airline. So they put us on a different airline. We're on an airplane. Almost. Still could not get on us. <laughs> We've been through so much. And then our last flight pattern ended up being um, to Charlotte and then to London and that's what we ended up doing so we went to Charlotte and that was pretty easy went to London that was seven hours I think it was eight hours seven or eight hours and it was all night so we tried to sleep we didn't sleep the best but that's just expected and then we got here at like noon and my old college roommate is living here right now because she's doing a program here like for school <laughs> so she met us at the airport she brought us to where our hotel is our hotel is off of the king's cross and saint pancras i think that's how you say it saint pancras tube station so it's right off of there so she took us over here we ended up getting lunch yesterday and then we Checked into our hotel. I think just for the two of us, like a little bathroom. And then we got this little bed, very compact space, but it'll be good for the both of us. I like the little map. And then we kind of just explored. We found this really cool area just down the street and it's called the Coles Drop Yard. It's like this little courtyard. There's a river next to it, and then there's like coffee shops, little sh stores. Go ahead and try it. Oh, what do you think? It's good. It's a, little it's really cute. So we explored there. Then my roommate had to leave. So Alec and I came back to the hotel. We got our little books. We went down to this cute little area by the river, read our books. It was very, just a chill vibe. And then we went to dinner at this place called Drake and Morgan's. It was very like eclectic and I don't know, just very interesting. Like all of the chairs had throw pillows. It was just like this homey vibe. So we ate there. That was pretty good, I think. You think mm -hmm. it was good? Mm -hmm. And then we got ice cream. And then we came back here at like 7 because we were tired. So we just kind of watched TV and then went to sleep. So now you're caught up. Now this is the present moment. So we are going out today and we'll take you along with us. What is that? Is it a restaurant? Uh, coffee. We got these little donuts. Yeah. It's so good. Mm. In this little courtyard. Walk into the place, a spot you from a race. My heart, it started racing. I wanted to tell you and wrap up what we did in London. The first day, we did the hop on, hop off bus tour. 
We went to a borough market, if you have ever heard of it. It's just like this covered market with a lot of food and shops. So Alec got this little, I don't even know what you call it, I forgot the name, but it's a seafood dish and I got these chocolate strawberries. That is next level. It's just awesome. Is it good though? Mm -hmm. Okay. I like it. Away flowers on your face, and then I'm from the eighties. Someone keeps blocking my way. I can't feel farther away. Wait on a moment to say that I want you. After that, we went to Westminster Pier. That's where Big Ben, Westminster Abbey, and the London Eye is. So we went there and we got on a little boat tour and it just takes you down the Thames River so we did that and that was a lot of fun and then we ended up at the Tower of London and we had fish and chips there so pretty good overall <laughs> pretty solid time we continued to do the bus tour for like an hour and a half two hours after that just because we wanted to see everything but not walk around so we were on the bus tour for a long time but we ended up having pizza that night at Franco Marco I think it was called and the pizza was pretty good it was just really big then to end off the night I was trying to find a drugstore but it was really hard to find because the maps were confusing me and they were not correct but the drugstore that I was looking for was inside a train station. So we're walking around this train station trying to find this drugstore. And we accidentally fell upon the Harry Potter store because Platform 9 and 3 quarters was filmed in that train station. So they have a little store there. So we went to that at like 10 o'clock at night because that's when we were looking for the drugstore. We ended up finally finding it. But that was kind of a cool little accidental moment that we had there good morning good morning <laughs> our second full day in london we started off by going to buckingham palace and there was the changing of the guard ceremony which happens four times a week so we wanted to see it and it was kind of strange i guess we just weren't in a good spot to see what was actually happening so we just saw all of these marching bands come in to the circle where Buckingham Palace is. And they were doing whatever they do and playing songs. And it's so strange because they were playing You Got a Friend in Me from Toy Story and Dancing Queen and we were just like, why are they playing these songs? What do they have to do with the changing of the guard? I don't know. You know that I wanted you then after that, we went to the Natural History Museum because it was just free to walk through. So that was fun. It was, I mean, Alec and I both agree we probably wouldn't pay to go into that museum, but it was just fun to go into because it was free. Then we got lunch at a place called Brompton Market, which actually misleading name is not a market. It's just a restaurant. So we got food there. Then after that, there was actually one of Alex's old co-workers in London the same time that we were. We met with him at a coffee shop and it was on Oxford Street. So we hung out with him and then we stopped by a comic book store because the boys wanted to look at comic books. So that was fun to see a familiar face. And then we shopped on Oxford Street so we went to H&M and then this shoe store. So I got these really cute green Converse, sage green obviously. And we did some shopping at H&M, so that was good. Then we also stopped by McDonald's because I wanted to show Alec how the menu was different than the American menu. So 
fun experience. And then we ended the night by going to Trafalgar Square, which is another Harry Potter filming location, but also just a really beautiful area. So we went there and we had dinner at, what was this place called? I think it was called Sabuka Trafalgar Square. I think it was like an Italian place. It's pretty good. Um, I got chicken alfredo and Alec got a risotto and then we got gelato and he got, I think, an eclair for dessert too. So that was good. So that was the end of that day. Day three, our last full day in London. We started by visiting Abbey Road, which is where the Beatles walked across for their album cover, and it was pretty busy. There was a lot of people there trying to get their popular picture, but there was also an Abbey Road store with Beatles stuff, so we walked in there and got some souvenirs for Alex's family. <laughs> over to Camden Market in Camden Town. That was actually really cool. I think it was a really cool market and it just kind of kept going. Like every time we thought we reached the end, there was another hallway with more stores. So it was mainly food and then a lot of like flea market type of stores. So like candles and I'm trying to think what else. Prints. There was a lot of prints like of London and everything. Lots of souvenir type things. Lots of random things in this market, but it was really cute and I really liked it. I'm a little tea boy. And after Camden Market, we went to this little tea place because I really wanted us to get traditional afternoon tea. We had to try it so we went to the english rose cafe and tea and they have this special for afternoon teas so you just get this whole special it's for two people and you get two pots of tea depending on what kind you pick and then you get this whole tier of like pastries the top had just like some random sugary sweet pastries the middle had like macaroons, a sponge cake, all those different kinds of things. And then the bottom had sandwiches and there was a bunch of different flavors. So you just got to try a bunch of different stuff and it was pretty cool. I liked it. I recommend doing it if you're in London just at least once. And then after that, we went to Portobello Road Market, which was actually closing up by the time we got there but same idea as camden market a lot of the flea market type of stores lots of souvenir stores but that was just a cool area and then we walked around kensington palace and kensington gardens we didn't go inside but we just wanted to see the palace and walk around it then we retired early for that night because we had to get up early for our train for the next day so we just kind of went back to the hotel after that. And then we came to Albertville, France. So that's where this vlog is going to stop. And I'm going to make a different one for Albertville. Maybe a different one for Paris, depending on how much footage I have. Maybe they'll be combined. I don't know. But that is the London one. So stay tuned for the France one. Caught your sudden gaze and time is started racing.